Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create Windows 11 virtual machine from Azure portal. First connect to Azure portal, portal.azure.com. See, I have successfully logged in. Now click on this menu. See here we have the virtual machines or search here for the virtual machine. See, we have the virtual machines service. Click on it. See, at present, I don't have any virtual machines. So, create virtual machine by clicking on this create button or this one. Both are same. So, click on create. Then select the Azure virtual machine. Okay. Click on it. First, select the subscription. See, for free trial, you will see here free trial. But for pay as you go, you can see pay as you go or you, the name of the subscription. Then select the resource group. See, I have these many resource groups. If you don't have any resource group, click on create new. Okay, I have, I'm going to select the resource group from the available. And then provide the name for the virtual machine. R2 win 11. Then select the region and select the availability options. Okay, so I'm going with availability zone. We have also virtual machine scale set and availability set. Then zone C. Here we have three zones. I'm going with only zone 1. Then security type. I am going with standard. Then see this is the estimated cost for this Ubuntu server. Okay. See this is the recently used virtual machine. But we have to select the Win 11. That is Windows 11 image. So we are unable to find here. See I have Windows 11 Pro. But if you are unable to find click on. See this is the cost per month. So click on see all images. See here we have the Windows 11. Click on select. See here we have the Windows 11 Pro 21 H2 Gen 2 and Enterprise Pro and Pro N different versions are there. The latest one is Windows version 23 H2. Select it and this is the cost per month and architecture and run with spot discount. If you want you can select it and then size size in the sense cpus and memory see all sizes and see here we have the vm sizes different series are there see cost per month is 631 inr and for this one cost is see max i ops but see here we have the ram 4 gb but max iops is only 1280 but for this one IOPS is more. Also, this local, local storage is here 7 gigabytes, but here it is 8 gigabytes. Okay. I am going with this one. Then click on select. See, now cost has been reduced. Now scroll down. Administrator account. We have to provide the administrator account. I am giving the user admin account name as Azure user. Then provide the password. Password must be between 12 to 123 characters long. And next inbound portals by default it has selected RDP licensing. Select it, then click on disks. Click on next. See, this is the OS disk size. Default is 127 gigabytes. Select OS disk type. We have the premium SSD. Standard, standard HDD and other. Okay, I am going with standard SSD. See, if you select standard SSD, cost has been reduced. I even see here, if you want to change to 256 gigabytes, the cost will increase now. Okay, so I am going with the default image. Then, suppose if you delete the virtual machine, this OS disk will also delete it. If you check this checkbox, otherwise, OS disk will be remaining, remains there. Now click on advanced. Also see here, if you have any existing disk, you have to click on attach an existing disk. Or if you want to create new one, you have to click on new. Then advanced, I am not going to change anything. Then click on networking. See, it has assigned public IP. Public IP is used to connect from the outside the Azure network. If you don't want, you have to select none, but select it. If you select none, 
the cost will reduce. The cost will be reduced. C. Remaining options I am not going to change. This is a virtual network and this is the subnet. We have only one. It is going to, I don't have any virtual network, so it is going to create new in this US region, US East region. Remaining options like load balance and select this one. Suppose if we delete this pub VM, this public IP and NIC will be deleted. Also see here, still if you want to select enable HTTP, HTTPS options, you can enable. Okay, next click on management. See here. If you want to log in with Microsoft and ID, you have to select this one. Otherwise, click, click keep all as it is. Enable auto shutdown. If you want to shut down daily, you have to tick on this checkbox. I am not going to do anything now. I am not going to just updates. If you want to enable hot patch, you have to select this one. I don't want. Click on next monitoring. I am not going to configure anything. Suppose if you want to set alerts, you have to do the rules i am not going to configure see these are the list of the rules okay next click on advanced if you want to provide any custom data you can provide here otherwise click on next see nothing i am going to configure then click on tax i am not going to provide any tax then click on review and create now click on create to create the azure Windows 11 virtual machine. Click on create. See, initializing deployment. See, deployment is in progress. This may take 5 to 10 minutes. See, deployment succeeded. Now click on go to resource or VM. Click on virtual machines. See, here we have the virtual machine. See here, its status is still creating. See, type is virtual machine, subscription name, resource group name, location, operating system is Windows. This is the size and this is the public IP. Click on virtual machine, hide this one. See, this is the worry of this Windows 11 virtual machine. See, this is subscription ID and this is the memory and all. And this is the public IP, this is VMNet, that is virtual network. Copy this one. Copy this public IP. See, now status has been changed to running. Now we can connect it once status is running. Now if you scroll down, see, these are the properties of the virtual machine. Public IP, private IP and all. Now connect to it by going to Windows Run. Then type MS TSE and hit enter. Then provide the IP. Then click on connect. Now provide the username. The username that we have given is Azure user and password the password that we have provided at the time of creating this virtual machine if you are not sure about the user click on connect again connect see this is the username okay click on connect select s click on next accept privacy settings see this is the start menu okay now click if you want to see the start menu this is the start menu okay these are the applications print for this one if you go to all applications see these are the default applications comes with installation of windows 11 now open command prompt just click on start search here otherwise click on cmd it takes, then click on CMD, that is command prompt, then type win work. See, Windows 11 and version is 23H2. Also, if you want to verify, open this folder icon. Let me maximize it. Now, right click on this PC, go to properties. See here, install RAM size is 4 gigabytes. And this is the processor type, it is Intel, and this is the device name, this is the account we have connected. See here we have the Windows specification details like this is installed on this date, and this is the version information like edition and version. If you want to rename, we have to click on rename this PC. Click on it, 
then we have to provide the new name for the PC. After that, we have to restart it. Okay. And last option, see if you are not using, you have to click on stop. If you want to restart, you have to click on restart. If you are not using anymore, then you have to click on delete. If you keep this as on, so charges will be more. So if you are not using, so click on stop. So in this video, we have seen how to create Azure Windows 11 virtual machine from Azure portal. For more Azure or Windows videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.